please subscribe to this channel and also tap the notification bell in order for you not to miss out on any of our videos. After 11 years spent at the General Secretariat of the Presidency of the Republic, Ferdinand Gongo carries all the passions imaginable. To see him in the chair of the Vice President of the Republic would suddenly position him as the dolphin designated to ensure the transition and, if necessary, organize the next presidential election of 2025. A scenario which could, however, face the disapproval of the hawks of the establishment. But what interests us is that, how did Ferdinand Gongo succeed where all his predecessors failed? The current tenant of the General Secretariat of the Presidency of the Republic has been in office for about 11 years without being worried. This leads the public to question his ministerial longevity. The news agency Realité Plus seems to have succeeded in unearthing the secrets of the almighty Ferdinand Gongo. Indeed, on its front page of the day, the Daily has listed a very specific number of elements that allow the latter to maintain himself. On the front page of the newspaper, it read, Tireless worker, lover of a job well done, faithful and loyal to the president Paul Bia, focused on the president, discreet and efficient, simple and humble, tolerant and does not attack anyone, absent where we eat, drink and dance, does not boast, does not have long eyes, enemy of lazy people and conspirators. From all these, it is therefore very easy to understand that with all these assets, Paul Bia cannot replace, at least not so soon, the Secretary General of the Presidency of the Republic. According to documents in circulation, a bill related to the revision of the Constitution has been under consideration by the Constitutional Law Commission since July 2, 2022. During the parliamentary session last March, the press leaked the plan to establish a post of Vice President of the Republic. Obviously, this project has been revived during the current session, Bill No. 2025-PJ-AN, received by the Constitutional Laws Committee and which will be the subject of a general discussion. The current constitution makes the President of the Senate the successor of the Head of State in the event of a vacancy and gives him 40 to 120 days to organize a presidential election in which he cannot take part. The finding of a vacancy falls within the prerogatives of the PAN which seizes the Constitutional Council for this purpose. It appears that all the actors in this transition process in Cameroon are all octogenarians, a situation that makes a great uncertainty about the stability of Cameroon and the sincerity of the actors of the transition.